What do you want? What do you want for me? It's hot. It's 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 hot. What do you want for me? Hey friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with the I Like Team. Now, today we are going to be doing something different, new, and I'm going to be starting this new thing on my channel where I'm going to be calling it essentially just a reaction. We're checking out LaSeraphim's Fearless Music video. Now, I am a very big Piona, and this was their debut. Just happened a few months ago. I've seen this. I know this music, I know this song. I don't have a reaction for it up on the channel though, and I kind of want to break it down to y'all and break down my processes, what I think of this, and just break down the review with y'all, right? Um, I'm planning on doing this with multiple groups that I like, just showing y'all when I was reacting to the assorted comebacks, I'm going to try to get it in order for groups I like, right? Today we got the Seraphim up first. We are going to be looking at the Fearless Music video. We are going to be breaking down everything I like about this, everything... Um, that initially caught my eye, maybe even didn't catch my eye. I don't know. We're breaking it down. That's the point. This is a reaction. Part two, right? I don't have these videos on my channel. We're going to break them down. But I say that also to say there's an elephant in the room with this one. Obviously, we know it. Um, I don't want to see no comments talking bad on anybody. I don't want to see nothing. This was OT6. Okay, now we're OT5. I became a fan after it was already OT5. I came again became a fan when raise your glass came out um and since then have tremendously fallen to the point that they are now basically my favorite group this year right there with csr it's them two fighting for my faves i don't know who's my favorites i got some other people i really like this year you know we got like in mix and all these groups i love but like man something about the, i've been watching so much of their content over on patreon some of that's for free some of it's not if you want to support me you can if you want to just check out free reactions i got some of that over there i've been posting a lot over here on youtube as well y'all are showing some support for this as well which i'm glad because a group that i'm enjoying a lot and posting a lot y'all are actually supporting not that like look I i'm just happy it means a lot to me that i'm getting pianos over here and they're telling y'all are telling me like Hopeful, positive things in the comments. Let's keep that up. Hey, let's keep talking. The whole goal of this channel was to make friends and still is to make friends. People I can talk with about my joys and loves of K-pop. I literally love the genre so much. It's like the best thing in the world that has ever happened to me was discovering the genre. And I really have no one essentially to talk about the genre with hardly and trying to make friends and other people. If, if you're maybe you're like me, you don't got many people to talk about this with. I want to have a community where we can talk about this stuff and we can just vibe, check out some new releases and talk about our favorite groups together. I literally want you to be you. I want you to un like just be you. It don't matter what people think. Be I mean, of course, be a nice person. Don't be mean or anything, but be you. Let's talk. Let's just let's just stand let's just bruh stand culture okay whatever say what you want about it but at the end of the day it's just us going crazy having fun and being massive fans which i happen to be for the seraphim so we gonna do that today so that's the start of this series and from here on out i might talk about it a little bit depending on if it's like depending on the artist but reaction new series we checking out just releases let, let me know if y'all like this concept below we can talk about it anyways yes so before we get into this we're gonna break it down i need y'all to give a like if you haven't already see i got a re-like just for y'all re-like the video support the video make sure you've liked the video look at the views we are the it girls we are that group we are that group this came out at the beginning of the, not even this came out in like what march something like that we're it girls the ones taking over k-pop as it may be we have the comeback of the year already with our first comeback so anti-fragile go stream that still and let's let's watch this we're breaking it down today uh like i said obviously there is an elephant in the room i don't want to see anyone talking about it i said in one of my patreon videos in, that it would probably be the last time that i talk about said said member okay okay got him okay i don't really care i'll just say her name i don't i don't see no one talking bad on her okay L like no one okay absolutely no one i don't want to see it i'll delete the comments like literally i know she's here and that's fine right 
Um, this is probably the last instance of recorded media that I'm going to be talking about her because I've, after this, essentially caught up on everything that was happening around this. She was literally in the group for like a week. So there wasn't too much content. And this is the last thing that I'm going to be putting on my, on my channel where she's a part of it. But like, and I know there's controversy coming with her. I just don't want to talk about it. Okay. That's been over. Everyone's talked about that. That's the past. It doesn't matter. So yeah, but I'm here to show y'all how much I like this song and how much I like the Seraphim. So we finna catch these vibes. This was the debut. You gotta appreciate the debut because I love this group and this is the song that put them on. So we finna vibe. Let's get into it. Le Seraphim. Fearless official video. By the way, since I do know the song, I'll talk about the song a little bit, but we, we, we gonna be breaking down these visuals especially. All right, so let's go. Three, two, one, click play. Okay, first of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, this choreo is so cool. And in their documentary, I was watching them learn this choreo, right? And all the things about like, but like Chewan having to, to be stronger and all this stuff. And, and just all, and I still am confused how their neck didn't absolutely break when they went. And like they slam their cheek up against the ground. It's like, oh. <laughs> And then the, the, the leg choreo, we start on the ground. Iconic, honestly. And then they have, like, the workout attire, and they're in, like, a like a gym of sorts, but it's, like, a really metallic and vibey gym to look at for, like, a music video set. Shout out to Hyde for the visuals, by the way. Um, so, I'm gonna be... But here's what I was thinking when I first watched this, right? I don't know how many of y'all know this, but this was coming out around the time when I was getting started on my channel, right? And then they all sit up and spin. It looks so cool, and they flip their hair. Um, this video gave me similar vibes. I'm not gonna say this did took influence or anything. It just gives me very similar vibes to the song "Tippy Toes" by XG, who was also their debut song a few months prior, because they had this this scene coming up right here. Right here, where there's like this, like I don't know what you call it, a staircase in the in the in the stars going up to space. Like, look at it, right? I'm not gonna lie, editor Josh here, real confused. I said in the stars, and then I said going up to space. The stars are in space, much less it's in the clouds, not the star. How are you even? What is wrong with me? Anyways, again, please, like, no hate. I'm not trying to compare the groups. I'm just straight up like they gave me similar vibes in a good way. Plus, I love both groups. Let's be real here. Both groups have made slapper music. Oh, uh, yeah. Mascara gang. <laughs> lovey, lovey, lovey. Dovey, dovey, dovey. And there was a similar scene in that video. They were doing some floor choreo in their video. There was also like uh, workout attire, kind of like darker and brighter outfits. And I was like, I'm getting similar vibes. And then I was like, ah, eh, I mean... It's okay. It's, it's not really to harp about. And then I just moved on. Like, I didn't think this video was bad. I thought it was good. And, like, this looks really good. They did a great job with it. Um, of course, it's hype. So, like, the CG and all that looks good. But then I just overlooked it and said, okay, we're done. Let's move on. There's nothing else to talk about, right? In my brain, at least. My brain had already moved on. I was like, I love Chewan. I love Sakura. I was a bit of an Aizuan fan. But, like, I'll keep my eye on them. But I got so many groups I'm standing. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to commit yet. And so I was. I was like, I'm excited for the future, but like the debut didn't necessarily do it for me. It's catchy. And the more I listened to it, the more I was like vibing. Like you should get the way, get the, get the, get the way. It was all, do you know how much that was stuck in my head? And the debut album, that especially. I was listening to the album. I just didn't get to know the girls, grace. right? There was like, I was like, there's no, the, the, I, I don't, I didn't have really that, that, that pull. You know that pull you get when you want to stand a group. I had that. I like them, but I didn't have that pull. I don't know why this is an amazing debut. Eventually, you know, like I said, Yunjin dropped <laughs> "Raise Your Glass" and oh, I was shitty, pulled. <laughs> Hadn't looked back since. Goodness, mommy, J1. <laughs> but then J1 goes boom, and then J1 comes through, and it's like because we're on the same thing, so it was rising, right? And then boom, bam, yeah, a, and then yeah. And then see that right there is what you call my bias. I want to, but like, see, in this era, I'd say I was definitely Chewan and, and, and Yunjin biased, especially Chewan biased, to be honest. In this era, I was no, in this era, I was Chewan biased. Then I realized, no, I'm Yunjin biased with a little bit of Chewan. Then this comeback has happened, and I'm OT5. Next era, I'm gonna go back to being Chewan and Yunjin biased, unless I stay OT5. Not sure yet, we'll see how the time progresses. <laughs> I kind of love them all right now. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> See, we all got these little crowns on our head because, like, queens, you feel me? But, like, she's insane. No, she's insane. Like, 
Okay. What was I? What was I? What was I thinking when I I saw that and didn't like instantly stand? What is wrong with me? The human brain is weird. And then the the logo with the font with the name up there. Yes. And then the boxing gloves back there, but hers are pink, but she still has the black dresses on. Yes. The sets are insane. But the bad. And then Katuha, and then, you know, you feel me? I like the little jump in the choreo, and then, yeah, and then the little hips, boop. Obviously, they also changed the choreo for the This song had a lot of, man, they've been through so much. I'm so proud of where they are today to, like, not let it phase them, really. They've just been through so much. Obviously, they had a member change. They had to change choreo, and they were getting backlash for that. They had other things they were getting backlash for. They've been through the trenches, okay? I feel like we've come out stronger, hopefully. I feel like the bond is there. They seem like a family, like, legitimately. And so just watching this, knowing all the... the I don't want to say problems, because it's not really that big a deal, but like, this is kind of plagued, if I'm being honest. This debut had, had a lot of issues that hype i'm sure would have rather just not have happened um but still look at him come towards the camera yeah highway and then we who put her on a bike and said yeah it is a good idea who put <laughs> ah kuda What do you want? What do you want from me? It's hot. It's 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 hot. What do you want from me? Uh, what do you? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yo, that's the Mark Nagel crazy with the little choreo. She. Hey, I love how they did this with the with the mirrors and the cameras. How they're looking into the mirrors for the look into the camera. You should get the way. Get the get the get the way. Killing part. This this part right here is the part I always think of. I think of Chewan turning around, shaking her little hips in this in this set with that mirror in the background. This is what I think of, right? It, that that's that's this song. This song is that for me. I'm, I'm being honest with y'all. This is what I think of when I think of this song. You should get the way, get the get the get the way. Cause they have the other set where she has the giant heart piece necklace thing on, and they're in all the black outfits with like the sparklers in the background and like the gold. And that part looks cool for what it's worth. But like, it ain't that. It ain't it ain't that first set. I'm just saying. First chorus, get the way hits. Ah! That's crazy. That that's the same girl that can literally do opera on y'all. She can do this and. This girl can literally do opera and this. See, this is the type of stuff you would expect Kajuha to do, right? And I don't mean that in a negative way. Kajuha, just, that's how Hybe's been using her as like a sing, talk, rapper who, who, who kind of, well, not rapper, but like she just be talking with melody. Like, if you know what I mean, like talking with melodies, this is kind of like what it is. She's about to come on. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, but, uh. Hey, right after this, right? And this is a transition in, but like, hey, it's pretty cool. They killed it. It's good. Like, yeah, I know. It's so good. No cap. No cap. I've just not realized that's it. Why does that say no cap? Hey, whatever. No cap. They killed it. That's facts. Um, th Does this go? Of course it goes. This been gone viral. So beautiful. Yeah, that's Kajra. Uh, look at Kajra back there. Look at look at Chaewon back there. You see him all day. Beautiful. And you want to know who's who's the beautiful is? She's on screen. That's my bias. I, look, I'm biased. It's okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Hey, hey, yo, relax, relax. That choreo is cool. And then this, this was the shot everyone was talking about. When this debut happened, everyone was like, this shot is cool. I was seeing everyone talking about this because I wasn't a fan. I was seeing people share screenshots of this, talking about how they like the song. This is, they'd screenshot this part of the music video. They'd go over to Instagram or whatever and be like, so the song, yeah, I kind of liked it. Or uh, it was okay. Or eh, I don't know about all of it, but this part was kind of cool or whatever. Like this video was, was really good. And this, this scene in the video is really cool. 
I definitely will say though, their new music video I think is a lot better than this one. I feel like it already improved tenfold. I don't know how, but I do like this video. It's got some things, like I said, I feel like it was kind of inspired for me. Well, I won't say inspired again, but I feel like I was linking it to another video, which I know I probably shouldn't have done at the time, but I gotta be honest, y'all, that's what I did. I was like, it's kind of similar, not in like a, ooh, they plagiarized type of way. That's uh, all that stuff is kind of, I don't, I don't get into all that personally. I just, cause I'm, I'm a very artsy person myself. I like drawing a lot. Okay. I got like art on my wall. I like just seeing how they can come together and put these music videos. And I was like, Ooh, that's kind of like that video, which to be honest, I was like, eh, it's an, it's an okay video. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, but it's pretty good. But like, I'm not going to say listen if I can't put out the best thing I've ever seen. Cause they clearly had it in them. I liked the debut trailer leading into this video. I liked the Hydra debut trailer and I liked anti-fragile. So they've got it in them to put out like amazing cinema quality stuff. I feel like out of those four things, this is my least favorite, but it's still really good. And this shot right here of her sitting on top of, I don't know how they even like, I still like d this looks crazy. <laughs> The concept. Hey. Hey. Break it down, break it down, down. Ooh. And then she kind of killed it real quick, real quick. Oh, and this shot, obviously, but this is the thumbnail. So. <laughs> also, Unche in this car has the cutest smile, and I fell for her. I, I forgot. I, I told y'all who my biases were this era, right? But if I'm being honest with y'all, it was Chewan and it was Unche's smile. Those were my biases. Unche smile and Che one. Unche smile makes it makes a <laughs> makes a bold. Look at her. Not look at her. <laughs> Unche smile was instantly up there for bias. Oh, with the little body rolls. Hey, they killing it. What you looking at? What you what you looking at? Hey, hey, hey. What you looking at? What you what you looking at? Mm -mm -mm. I feel this. Whoa, your body! How do you even bend like that? My my back hurts. Chemon, relax. This was the part, right? So they changed that and they stopped doing it. But like, how do I? How do I? Put it? You know, that was a pat. That's a It's the past. We've learned. Okay, I feel like as a whole. I like the new choreo a lot more. I feel like the new choreo was very, like, centered on, like, powerfulness and, like, coolness. This choreo still has some really cool moments, and it's a vibey choreo. I feel like that part really didn't need to be in there, obviously. I, do I need a breakdown why? I mean, we all know why. It's just a bit, you know. Uh, I do like this set, too, with, like, the, the pearly things. It's I like shiny. What can I say? I, I'm a simple I'm a simple person. Shiny. Ooh, shiny. You know, but, like, and then... <laughs> They look great in the set, obviously. God, don't look at. Uh, what are you? What are you? Chai Wan. Nah, that's crazy. And the harmony's going into there, and then that choreo with all the hands, and then she jumps, and then. And then the sparks come down, and then. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know, like come to me. Oh, Yunche, relax. Ah! Oh, yeah, with the little hips. Sakura. And then over to the best. Bro, J Line killing it in this song. Look at him go. I'm feeling this hot. <laughs> then it's just over, right? Then it's like, a Seraphim. Do you think I'm fragile, right? Yeah. No, we anti-fragile. Come on now. See, they've got this concept planned out. What was the what's the question on the new one? Oh, I already forgot it. Oh, I'm a fake blossoming piano. I'm supposed to be the biggest piano. I forgot the question. Do you want to be forgiven? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, so honestly, if I was to look back on this debut, even like I'm talking everything with all the all its flaws, everything looking back on it, it's not the best. If I'm being honest, because it had a lot of problems with it. The song itself, just the song itself, the demo version kind of went crazy, by the way. In the documentary, the demo version, the Wild Wild West. Oh, that was hidden. Anyways, um, but the song that they gave us, <laughs> I'm going to give it like an 8.2 out of 10. That's still pretty high. 
Um, I feel like parts of it, I feel like the chorus is very repetitive, it gets stuck in your head, but I feel like maybe they could have done a little something to the chorus to make it go a bit farther. Like in Anti-Fragile, the chorus is also repetitive, but something about the way the panning of Anti-Fragile, Anti-Fragile goes back and forth, it adds a little something, plus the harmonies on that. I don't know. Either way, I love this song. Okay, the verses were great too. I liked Katsuha's rap here. It was vibey. I think I prefer her rap on, on Anti-Fragile though still with lovey, 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 dovey, dovey, dovey. Come on, it's just, what, what do you want me to say? That, that just hits. But, but the A goes hard on here too. Um... Everything about this was nice. Of course, it was what brought them to the world, so I can't complain. Because I literally love them. If this didn't happen, they wouldn't exist. I'm a huge fan. Um, I watched their Idol Human Theater for this. It's over on Patreon. I also... I, I, I don't know. I just, I've, been, I've been loving this, this, this whole this whole Seraphim thing lately. It's just been nice. It's a breath of fresh air in a year where... It shouldn't be that way. See, because realistically, it's like I'm getting overwhelmed to the point where I'm stressed. It's like there's so many groups that are that are putting out music that I love. Lots of groups debuting that I really want to get into, but I just I'm like, no, I refuse. I don't have the time or the willpower right now. I already stand 30 plus groups. I can't add more to the list because then oh, it's it's not even that if I may, if I stand them, I, I just can't put the content out. It's that I literally don't have time to put the content out. It, the stress that I, that I can't do it and people are going to say, hey, well, do, you, do, you, do you still post insert group content? And I'll be like, I mean, I've been trying to. I just don't have the time. And so that's a bit stressful, but whatever. I don't know why. It's just, so it's like you'd think, okay, well, let's hear from a group that debuted this year. Isn't it stressful? It's another group that you technically don't have to stand, but you could. I don't know why. It's it's just a pressure fit there. Nothing against any other group that's debuted. I, again, there's lots of them I want to stand. It's just... This one, this one did it for me. This one, this one, this one is, is instant ult status. The second I decided to stand, I realized what I was missing out on. They became ults so fast. They are easily like a, I want to say easily top five at this point. Out of the 30 plus groups I stand, they are probably top five. That's saying something that it has happened in this amount of time. We've had one comeback and they're already top five. One comeback since I got into them, mind you. So basically just one song, one album. And I was like, yes. I mean, I knew their previous work. So I guess that's really not how that, but anyways, look again, try, d again, I, I, I'm not trying to, this is a really almost, I don't want it to be this way, but it's kind of like a controversial video for me to put this out there because I know how the K-pop community can get. I mean, most of y'all are nice civil people and you don't just say things without thinking. And, and most of you are nice people, but I've seen, I've seen how it can get, and I just don't want it to get that way. I, I'm not trying to spread any hate. I'm not trying to, I'm just telling y'all, this is what I think of this song. Um, hopefully this series, this reaction series, uh, can, can have some longevity, especially for like other groups I love. If any of y'all are multis, I'm going to be doing this for other groups as well. Um, I feel like this is probably one of the most controversial ways to start the series, but I don't know. I'm just in love with the Seraphim. It felt like starting it here today. <laughs> Um, I love this song. Um, everyone killed it. Uh, the choreo was great. The song was great. And yeah, with that being said, friends, if y'all enjoyed this reaction, let me know. Um, give me a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're brand new. I got lots of Lacerra from content coming on the way as well as a lot of Lacerra from content on Patreon and more coming. I really don't plan on slowing down if I'm being honest. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here now. So I hope you, yes, you have a good day, morning, or night, whatever time it is for you. And with that being said, peace, Stanless Seraphim. Goodbye. <laughs>